Hi, my name is Alistair Bird. Margo Wong. Uba Kadere. Carol Ann Sanders. Palmira Figueroa. I'm Ji Young with Fun for the Front Lines. 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 I feel like the easiest way to explain it is to say that it's SJF's effort to go deeper and wider than we're typically able to go in our giving project model. If you're thinking about it in terms of a relationship, it's like we're essentially making a long-term commitment to the community organizations that we want to work with. We're going to be giving them grants of $250,000 and we're going to be sticking with them over a five-year process, really growing alongside them. In 2016, when the board and staff talked to a lot of our grantees, and realize that base building and funding organizing for longer periods with bigger amounts was something very needed. That's how the decision was made to create a campaign that would have the goal of funding base building for organizing and also build the capacity of the foundation. Yeah, I joined Bun for the Frontlines campaign because I'm excited about the possibilities. I thought that the campaign had great focus and the BIPOC group involved was fantastic. I was really excited to learn that the steering committee for this was going to be entirely BIPOC -led, and I wanted to be a part of that. Through the last few years, the, the learnings uh, that we've had around Black liberation and focusing uh, on dismantling the white supremacist lens that we have been using in our way we fundraise money, in our way we uh, organize donors, has been transforming. With that transformation, the Fund for Differentness has transformed too. Base building is important for grassroots organizing because it is putting power in the hands of people who are directly affected by the issues that we are all trying to solve. With base building, you are not only building up a unique and individual organizations to do the work, you're building up entire communities so that resources are easily shared and that people are getting what they need and not having to go through institutions that might be really filtering down some of these resources. With that kind of acknowledgement, comes a different kind of power and a different kind of way of thinking about what philanthropy is and how community organizing can happen. So what I hope this campaign accomplishes the ability to move money to our organizations, which we've already have done, which is amazing. And then also just organize and gather around BIPOC volunteers and fundraisers to do this work together, that it's not done for us, but done with us and by us. We're not on the sidelines witnessing or being recipients, but participating and leading, and that feels really powerful. Just the idea of having a fund that funds base building, funds leadership development, funds community organizing, fund folks who are on the ground doing this work, all that, you know, region excites me. Donate. 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 Donate to fund for the front lines. Can you say thank you? Just thank you? <laughs> yeah. I can say thank you in three languages or four. Yeah. Oh my God, do it. <laughs> Thank you. Wa mahasan sahay. Shukran. Merci beaucoup.